when we were sailing a smaller boat, 35 foot or so, we could actually furl the Genoa away by hand. We didn't have to use a winch. But now we're on the 50 foot, the loads are a little bit greater and it's a bit more of a grunt to put the sail away and we normally use, need to use the winch. Okay then, ready when you are. installing the system onto the boat, I thought it was a good idea to try and explain how the whole system goes together. And the first thing I'm going to start with is the cell bus system, which is basically the communication highway for the whole system on board the boat. What you have, you have these cables. These cables go from the back of the boat to the front of the boat. And these are all the systems that are going to connect what we have the, the MCU, the motor control unit, the PSU, the power supply unit, and they're gonna all be talking to each other and it's gonna be talking through the cell bus system. The beauty of the cell bus system is that it is basically plug and play. If we start at the back of the boat, where we want our push buttons for the in and the out of the furling unit, we basically connect a simple T-terminal onto the cell bus cable and that joins on to the push button system. It really is plug and play and if you want we can have two T-terminals side by side so we can join the MCU and the power supply unit together. It's child's play. The first thing we have to think about is the power supply and we need to connect the batteries to the power supply, the PSU. What the PSU does is it converts our 12 or 24 volt system into 40 to 48 volts and this produces the power to drive our new furling unit. On our boat we're going to install the new retrofit system for our Furlix 400 so we're converting it from a standard system to an electric system and what we need for that is we need the motor control unit for a Furlix and simply again all we have to do is plug the MCU into the cell bus system. If we wanted more systems, if we wanted electric winches, it's a case of ordering another MCU for the winch or another one for the in-mass furling system and they simply plug into the cell bus system so they all talk and communicate to each other. At the back of the boat, at the helm, we're going to install our push buttons. What we have here, we have the converter. This converts the push button signal into an electrical signal that sends a message down the cell bus and back to the MCU to control opening and closing our furlex. When we install the cell bus cable, at the very end of each end of the cable we have these termination fittings. That's to make sure the cell bus cable works correctly. The other important thing is when it goes into sleep mode there is still a small amount of electrical consumption. So it's a great idea when you're not using the system to switch it off at the main fuse. 